going to do a really nice brown smoky look. So we've just filled in Isabel's brows with the Freedom Brow Pomade. So I'm using the P. Louise Face with a MAC 252S. And we're just building up the coverage. You want to keep tapping over with this product and build it up. The product will go on quite tacky at first and wet. You want to keep patting over so that the product starts to dry. So when it dries, it starts to go less tacky on the eye. You don't want to go on, the, on with the eyeshadow when it's really tacky, as this will then grab the eyeshadow in the places where it's still wet. I'm loving the P. Louise face, by the way. I've nearly gone through my first tube of four. and I'm just underlining them brows. Once you've underlined, you want to then pull the product down and then build the product all over the lid. As you can see, it goes on quite wet you want to keep tapping over, the product will start to dry. You just want to make sure it's a really good even coverage all over the eyelid space. It's really important that you use a base when doing any eye look. just because when we go on with the foundation at the end, we want it to all blend nicely together. So this is the P. Louise palette. So we're going to be using the colour Bestie and the colour Latte. As you can see, they're my favourite ones. Um, and I've used this palette so much since I've got it. So we're starting with Bestie, which is the dark brown colour. And this is a Zoeva 234 brush. So this is going right on the lid. This is the colour we're going to smoke out. Build this product up all over the lid area. We're taking the product as high as the crease. It is a bit different when you're doing a smoky look as you do start on the lid area. Um, which is kind of a strange concept. So we always do the eyes first because of this, before we do the, the foundation. As you can see, it's falling down a lot onto the face, so if you were to have done the eyeshadow last, then you will be ruining all your hard work that you'd already done on the face. So this is the colour Bestie from the P. Louise palette. It's a really nice dark brown, it's kind of in between warm and cool. It's that perfect in between shade. This sort of look is especially good for people with green eyes like Isabel because it does make your green eyes really pop and stand out. So I'm now just using that same colour with a pencil brush. So we have a Lux pencil in 230. And I'm now just going to place that right in the crease. Just so we've got now got some product in the crease to blend out. So 
using the P. Louise palette again. We've used the colour Bestie already. We're now going to use Latte. And this is a Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite brush. We're keeping the brushes not very fluffy at this point. So we want to keep the, where we're placing the products really detailed. This is just going slightly over that colour and slightly above. We're just overlapping the colours. It's really important at this point that you have a tissue at hand so every time that you then dip back into your light colour you wipe your product off onto the tissue. This will just keep the light brown really nice and brown. Edges. So this is a MAC Mineralize powder and it's called Sunnyside. I think I've only ever used them as eyeshadows to be honest and I'm using a MAC 221 Look Soft Crease and we're just very gently going around the outer edges. You want to be really gentle with your pressure at this point. The mineralized powders from MAC are really good for using as eyeshadows. The texture is really nice. Get too much of that darker colour, the bestie, on your shadow when you're going through into your lighter colours. It's going to make it all smudgy together. So you want it to all blend nicely, but you don't want it to be a smudgy mess. moisturising base so for underneath the eyes it goes on really nice and this is the MAC 252S brush again I did used to use a smaller brush but I find that by using a bigger brush it does get the product on a lot quicker it's just strange to get used to it first mm. we're taking the concealer right up to the eye this will act as the eye base for underneath the eye so that all the shadows go on true to colour it really does make a difference with the eye makeup lasting a lot longer as well. And the same as before with the P. Louise base, it goes on quite wet, so you want to keep patting it over so it starts to dry into the skin. So I'm using a 
tissue and a smaller fluffy brush. I'm going to use an eyeshadow in the waterline as the eyeliner. So I'm going to put this in the waterline and also into the lower lashes. I do prefer using an eyeshadow rather than an actual liner as I find it's a lot softer on the eyes. This is just the brush from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. But any small brush that you feel comfortable getting in there. Making this look really smoky. This is just the Makeup Geek Black. So again with the P. Louise palette, I'm going to use Bestie and Latte again. So I'm going over the top of the black, so I'm overlapping these colours. I do really love these browns, I'm a bit funny with brown, but the browns from the P. Louise palette are just so nice. Although there's lots of browns out there, it's very hard to find browns that aren't too cool or too orange or too green. I've had a lot of palettes I've got before and the browns have been really green. I'm just neatening up now with a white before I blend that out. Just if I don't and I come to blend it out, then the fall down will blend into the white colour. You don't always have to do this, but if it has fallen down, then you take the judgement. Look at them green eyes. Your eyes are popping. So we're now using the lighter colour, which is the colour Latte from the P. Louise palette. So always overlapping them colours and bringing them down. And I find this brush really good for underneath the eyes as you can twist it round to get really into the inner corner and you can also twist it the other way to join up on the outer edge. And this is a 235 contour shade brush from Zoeva. And I'm going to be using the Tatty Lashes and these are in the TL4. So I'm just going to measure these up first. I always twist the lashes round. The Tatty Lashes are about £10 to buy but anyone can bulk buy them so if you buy, just look down, mm -hmm. if you buy 20 pairs then you do get a really good discount. And you can get 30 wears out of the Tatty Lashes, so they are really good. They'll last you forever if you get 10 pairs. So the TL4 are really wispy and full without being too much. They are my favourite ones at the minute. So I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation and this is the colour NC15. So I'm placing this on with a MAC foundation brush, but I'm not blending the product in at this point, I'm just placing it on. The Studio Fix foundation is really versatile, as it you can build up the coverage, or if you've got good skin like Isabelle, like she doesn't need as much on, and it's not heavy and cloggy on your skin. So be careful when you go around the top of the brows, I do find it really therapeutic to carve them out with the brush but you've got to make sure there's not too much foundation on the brush. Beauty Blender. I do wet the, make sure you wet the Beauty Blender. I've actually filled up 
a Fix Plus spray with water, just so I've got it to hand. And I'm just dabbing it into the skin. So be careful around your brows. I am going to go in with a smaller brush in a second, so don't worry too much about getting in to them closer areas. the edges with this colour. So to highlight we're going to use the Doll Beauty Shine Bright. This one's a more golden colour. You can get this in Topshop, um, you can get it online but it does sell out quite a lot. going to use a tiny bit as an inner corner highlight. So I'm now going to use the Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. So this one from MAC in the colour Medium Dark. So you want to start right from the top of the ear and bring it down. all in with the beauty blender you don't want any harsh lines gone are the days of stripy contour just going to put a tiny bit of the brow gel back through just to emphasize them brows that I use 90% of the time so I would recommend people to get it. And now we're going to use the Peaches and Cream Gloss in the shade Suede. So we're just going to make the lips really glossy. The peaches and cream glosses I'm absolutely in love with. They, they come in a nude pack and they all do look very similar in the pack but once you start using them you'll start to realise that they're slightly different ones. There's one that's more brown, there's one that's more pink, this one's like got more of a grey tone to it. 